Well, because it, it was the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, it was their own independent choices that they needed to do because they went further and further from that reality. I mean, who told Cain and Abel to go and offer something? You know, they, they came up with that. Why? Because they felt inadequate in without doing something because that was the fruit of that tree. You have to do something to be like God. You know, you have to work at it. And that actually feeds into our need to do something to affirm who we are. So literally the, the choosing to walk independently of God means you have to create your own identity from what you do. And therefore this sort of needing God in it meant that we created gods in our own image, hence or in any idols or likeness. So how did it last so long? Well, because we've continued to walk in independence. Uh, and we've continued even now to make our own denominations and our own man-made systems and things. It's, it's not changed. It's still we're just doing it. You know, that, and so that that's for me why it's lasted so long. But Jesus came to show that this way of doing things wasn't God's intention from the beginning. But even so, people have still chosen to live in an old covenant model, even when we've got the free new covenant freely available. Hence, they've chosen mediation and they've chosen the mediatorial system and a, a leadership system and everything else, which is more old covenant based. So they've mixed the covenants and then it's become a works based covenant, just like the old one was. So we're not no longer offering sacrifices as in animals or blood or anything else but we're still in a sense called to or the religious system requires sacrifice in various different ways um and so i think it is a deception that people are still living in believing that they have to be obedient please god serve god they have a duty and obligation towards god to earn something by complying or fulfilling or meeting certain standards or conditions and it's what keeps religion going because you're not there yet and you've got to keep trying to get there so you've got to keep doing more of it and more of it and more of it so you'll get there eventually rather than realizing that you've always been there you just didn't know you know so i do feel that you know as we are maturing the revelation that of what has already been done and who, who we already are frees us from those performance orientated i am going to create my identity because of this 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 and this and we're becoming free from that not having to perform or earn or do any of those things but it was a deception and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil our choice effectively independence which is what it is is a deception that keeps you in darkness from the truth and reality of who you are by convincing you that you have to become something and how do you become something by doing you know and that is the trap that's been there so you know the children of israel lived for three or four hundred years in egypt and they went into egypt not really having much of a relationship with god because when jacob met god at bethel under an open heaven with angelic presence god asked him to live there and all his children would have lived there and they would have all lived in the presence of god in the promised land effectively and they wouldn't have had to go into egypt or anything else but jacob chose not to live there under an open heaven so he then chose to live in his own understanding so he took all his flocks and, and animals because Bethel is a hill country and doesn't have many grazing, he took them all to somewhere else where there was grazing for his frogs, rather than 
hey, I don't need any of these flocks anymore because I'm going to live under an open heaven with God's provision and blessing in the promised land. And that would have expanded that reality. He chose to expediently, I need to water and feed my flocks, so I'm going to take them somewhere else. And his whole family fell apart. And eventually leading them back into Egypt. And there they stayed. And then in Egypt, they saw how the Egyptians lived. They didn't have a personal relationship with God in such a way so that they were then subject to syncretism. So they picked up various things from Egypt. So when they came out of Egypt, Egypt never came out of them. So they came out of Egypt carrying the gods of Raphae and Rodfer and others, as Stephen says in Acts and some of the, um, I think also some of the prophets also say the same thing. They carried those gods and immediately when God says, come to me, they're like, no, we're afraid. So we'll send Moses, we'll set up this mediation system and then they made the golden calf. Because they then again thought, well, we have to do something. Moses might not come down. So we've got to do something to appease this God who's angry. Yes, so they had a whole different view. Well, where do they get that view? It wasn't the view that Jacob had at Bethel. Of being under an open heaven. An angelic presence. So where did they get that view? From Egypt. Because if I believe if. Jacob had settled in Bethel, all his children would have lived under an open heaven and would have had the same experience that would have brought them into the fullness of God's promises for them. But they chose to do something else and then went through that whole process. And so it never really left. They never really stopped operating independently and doing things their own way. So Moses set up a system for them to keep them from being destroyed by their own foolishness um, all through the 40 years but all of them died anyway all of the men died before they entered the promised land so a new generation entered you know who hadn't been in egypt in the same way but what did they do same thing well got joshua was alive they sort of toe the line and as soon as joshua dies they start following foreign gods and you get that history all the way through judges of the stories of them going after foreign gods, God rescuing them, going after follow gods, God rescues them. Because they didn't have a relationship. So they were still operating in that same independence. Sadly, you know. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.